Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I'm going to show you how to take your hardtop off of your Jeep Gladiator. Let's get to it. So before we start, you're going to need some tools for this uh, hardtop removal. Thankfully, Jeep usually gives you these. If you get this brand new, you're going to get one of these kits. Um, if you don't have one of these kits, you're going to need a Torx 50. So this is a Torx 50, and on the Gladiator, their T50 right there. So um, on the Gladiator, you're going to need this bit to get the hard top off, and you're going to need a ratchet. So if you don't have this kit, either go get this kit from your local Jeep dealer or just go buy a Torx 50 socket, um, like so. All right, let's get to uh, taking the hard top off. All right, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is undo all your quick disconnects here. They're just basically like this. You're going to have six of them. So you're going to have three quick disconnects on each one. And then you're going to have these guys right here. They just push down like so. And uh, then it's released. And the next part is to remove the front hardtop pieces. Pretty easy so far. Just going to the other side now. Get these off as well. And now you're ready to remove the hardtop pieces from the front. So when you're taking your hardtop pieces off, it doesn't really matter if you're taking either side off first. Um, the only thing that matters is when you put them back on, is that you put the passenger side on first and then the driver's side uh, because the driver's side does overlap the passenger side. So they just lift off like so. And uh, if you had somebody helping you, you can pass it down to them, or you can just take it down. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, time for the passenger side. You can see where that driver's side one overlaps on here. It goes over that for the weather strip, the weather seal there, so that you don't get rain inside your vehicle. So you just take that off, and you can all right, so Jeep gives you a very nice bag to put your front hardtop pieces in. And uh, you're gonna wanna put your driver's side one in first. Uh, it goes the wide way is on the bottom. So the widest part of your first hardtop piece goes on the bottom. And that just slides into place like so. And then they have this flap to protect it from the second piece. And I'm gonna grab that right now. So now your second hardtop piece is going to go right on top of that black felt. You're going to want the outside of the hardtop piece facing the outside of the bag. And I'll show you how that goes just like so. And then we're going to have to spin this around to get it zipped up. Put your zippers right here. And if you did it right and the pieces are in there correctly, it should zip, zip up just fine. And it even has handy carrying bags, but you can set these in the back of the vehicle or in the trunk or in the bed of the truck of the Gladiator. So um, that's it for the front hard top pieces. Now you can drive your Gladiator with just the front hardtop pieces off and judging by how tricky it is to get the actual back hardtop piece off, that's what most people are gonna do. But we're gonna show you how to take that back hardtop piece off next. So you can see I got the uh, back seats down on the Gladiator and there's gonna be six bolts back here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you're gonna wanna undo those and then there's a quick disconnect over there, which I'll show you how to take that off. And uh, basically just put your wrench in here, Torx 50, and just start taking them off. After a little bit, they become loose enough. You can uh, just take them out by hand. So we're gonna do all of these and uh, then I'll show you the top. All right, you can see I have five of the six bolts out. You're gonna say, Brett, I can't see the last bolt. That's because it's behind this plastic piece here. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're just gonna to wanna to grab right here and pull in towards the vehicle. And then that's just a quick release clip. Now there is a safety 
um, there's a harness here, a wiring harness. There's your last bolt, by the way. Uh, but there's a wiring harness here. So this red piece is kind of like a safety clip. So like you can't push it down right now to get that out. You have to push that red piece back and then you can see that black tab there. Take that and then you can pull and that piece comes out. Now we're gonna take our last um, bolt out right here and then I'll show you the top bolts that we have to take out and then we're ready to take the hard top off. So you're gonna have two more bolts that you're gonna have to undo on the top. And uh, the first one is right here and then there's one on the other side. Those are also Torx 50. So just grab your ratchet and uh, take them out like so. I suggest getting a ladder for this so you don't fall. Get your last bolt and we should be good to go. The cool part about Wranglers and Gladiators is that they give you a spot to put all your bolts for all your um, hardtop stuff. So you just put the bolts for the hardtop right in there. The ones on the this side are for your doors. And we'll do that video too. So let's go in there just like that. This cover goes on there so you don't lose your pieces. And uh, now we're ready to take this hardtop off. So before you remove your hardtop, you can do it one of two ways. You can either take the hardtop off and set it on some boards, um, which we have two by fours stacked up here, or you can use these pieces that should have came in your Freedom Top uh, soft bag. There's two of them. They go on each side and they go just like that. So when you set it down, it'll be on here and it'll kind of like balance on there and we'll do it in just a couple seconds here. So now that you got all your bolts off and everything's disconnected, we're ready to take the hard top off. I've got my buddy Austin over there. He's going to help me carry it off. It's probably around 50 to 60 pounds, so you're going to want two people to do this. Like I said before, they come with these nice little um, holders. They go on right there. So what we're going to do is, before we even lift it off completely, we're just going to put that in there so that it's all set to go. And hopefully they don't fall off. And then we just grab here. Grab on the bottom and walk it back. Find a place to set it. That's not, nothing's going to fall on it. Those holders will go right on the floor and then they'll tip forward. You want to make sure that this doesn't knock down. You can put boards or blankets or whatever to protect those and that's how you do it. Now you're ready to enjoy your gladiator with the top off. Very simple to do as well. Just make sure that these stay off and you can grab it, lift it up. Now it's going to go, it should go on nice and snugly. And you'll know when it's in place. Just put your bolts back in and you're all set to go. So just remember that when you're putting your front panels back on your Jeep, you're going to want to put this one on first and then this one on top. Now you're, everything's going to be nice and easy to close. If it's not easy to close, there's something wrong and something's not flush and you're going to have leaks, but they should close that easy. And if they don't close that easy, then you have done something wrong but they all should close pretty simply and easily. And that's it. Now you're ready to go back out in the rain. Thanks for checking out my video. I hope it was helpful and informational and that you're able to get your hard top off of your Jeep Gladiator. Thanks for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on my YouTube channel. In fact, in a second, you'll see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link on how to get your doors off of your Gladiator in the upper right, a link to more Wrangler hardtop removal videos in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and once again, thanks again for checking out the video. I really appreciate it. Remember to like, subscribe, and share.